How good of you to join us. They're You're not well. I'm not well. You're not well. He's not well. They are gay. They live in Columbus, Ohio. And several drinks, marijuana. Look, dick. Dick's the size of peanuts. Gay, straight, it doesn't matter. Life or events. Well, are we talking sex here or marriage? Or... They were talking politics. They talk. That Renaissance rubbish they talk about. They talk about religious experiences. And they are fun. They are funny guys. They are not well, John. Not well. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Not Well. I'm Bobby. I'm Jan. We're back, you fucking bitches. Yeah. And How? just as we came back, like the, the loudest light. thunder, the light. It's weird. I have Jesus. J- Jesus hugging Judas. Uh, find these online. I have freedom for Palestine. That's right. Freedom for Palestine. Fuck Israel. Honestly, fuck Israel. Sorry. We said it here first. Or Like, if you can't exist without my tax dollars and I don't like you, go away. That's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm really confused about Israel, to be honest with you. This country is trash. Yeah. But do we support them? Oh, yeah. We give them billions of dollars every year. Billions. And then they bomb and kill Palestinian children. But for what? Just to exist? Yeah, just to exist. Okay. Yeah, just the wall literally. that they kiss or whatever's there? <laughs> the wailing wall. The fucking wall. Oh, I had a thought, actually, while I was away in Montreal, which we'll talk about. I was oh. like, what if someone just blew up that whole area? Like, took all the people out, literally blew it up, and then they were like, oh, no, are you guys still going to fight over your religious uh, locations? Are you guys still going to bicker and kill each other because this wall was yours first and then this little mountain temple was yours first or what if it was all fucking gone what would you do okay so again it goes back to like our (laughs) reading the bible yeah like this is where i so i'm like these people (laughs) are listening to the books that are telling them to cut their wieners (laughs) that there's a fucking flood that he hates everybody that women are the worst like why are we still (laughs) why are we worried about this is what they're they're still still doing it i cannot blow it up Literally, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if we just evacuated that whole area and we're like, you know what? Evacuate. But then the bigger problem is like a lot of these people aren't even religious and they just actually are racist and hate. It's all about the money, honey. Yeah. So there's definitely money involved, but freedom for Palestine. We fully support that here at Not Well. And if you don't know anything about it, we employ. We love Jews, but we hate Israel. We love Jews. Hate Israel. We love people. I hate Zionists. Like, I just don't understand it. I just don't it. understand it either. They went and just took land from Palestinians, killed them or displaced them, and then they were like, this is Israel. This is our country. And you're like, it's like no, no, you just, like, got rid of people who were already living here. Like, does it sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> well. Sounds kind of like what the I United States why the, and the I, natives. I wonder why the U.S. would support that. Weird. It's, it's almost one... like it's the same history. Also, I'm not really sure why we, like, have to make a comment to, like, oh, we do support Israel. It's like, no, why do I we know. have to let everybody know? Like, People first of all. That, politicians, that I, yeah. st- I stand with Israel. For what? Like, for what? What is Israel? They're carpet bombing Gaza. Is it why do you support Jesus? them? Is because of Jesus? Like, is that because Christians yeah. think that? Well, well that's... the crazy Christians think that if. They support Israel, and then there was a perhaps a war to break out in the Middle East, or uh, the Jews have a homeland because they read Revelation, the book of Revelation. They think if the Jews have their homeland, then Christ will come back. So they want the Messiah to come back to earth to save us all by supporting Israel. Yeah. Well, I love how people are so scared of Jesus. They're like, oh my God, God's, you're going to get Jesus is coming. All we're doing, okay, if he comes, good. Because yeah. honestly, again, I don't, we know like, what he would do. Honestly, I hope he takes all the gays and the trans. We would be going to Demi, heaven. If Demi would come with us, though. Nope. No, no. She's not trans anymore. Oh, yeah. She's Remember? back to cis. She's a cis girl she's now. She's not a cis head. She's like a cis. Well, now she's a boyfriend, too. She's a cis pan. I'm done. I'm I honestly done don't her. know what she is, and that's the point. And that's is fine. We don't really care. We don't care about you, Demi, but also, like... Avoid, if, the, avoid the frozen yogurt well, shops and just shut up. It's kind of like... um. The gays and monkeypox. That's how it's going to be when Jesus comes back. He's going to like, like which of you have like, had monkeypox? You motherfuckers need to get vaccinated for monkeypox. So we're going to all get vaccinated, and the yeah. straights are going to get it and not have the vaccinations available. And it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of humorous because we're going to be running the I've world. I've heard from so many straight people at work who they just don't like even know. are joking about monkeypox, like laughing at it. And I'm like, no, no, like I know people have had it. Like it's real. Well, I let I listen to people at, in the lunch area talking about it, and the, these straight guys were talking, and the straight guys like. <laughs> monkey pox, monkey like, pox. What the like fuck? who's get, who's even getting it and i was like oh i get i see what you're saying so you hate gay people got it yeah like that's they're like the, they don't care because gay people are yeah getting, they're like, like well okay. who's even getting it i'm like uh does it matter you can get it does it matter like, right if people are getting it it's becoming like don't a we problem treat, we treat, we treat, uh, what's the fucking creed well we can't even talk about this so i'll have to cut creed. it all out but whatever my coworker that i want to um he said i said 
I set it up. I was like, oh, and by the way, when you are out, I got vaccinated for monkeypox. What? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, I, didn't I know. Really, I set up your appointment. I know. And also, I still have a bruise. So. Oh, no. I saw the What's bump. going on with it? So no. do I. I asked an infectious disease doctor here locally named Joe Gastaldo. He's a VIP. But he said the bumps are normal. So don't worry. Okay, it's weird though because like it has been. Two Mine and a half isn't weeks. painful anymore, but it's still there. Mine's three weeks on Monday. I it's think, painful. Right? Or no, two no. Weeks. I was August fourth. So you were after me. I can't keep track. Yeah, because you were on that. I'm Friday, two and a half weeks out. So and you're I was two that Monday. Weeks. Yeah, you're two weeks. Uh, yeah. So, but it's still on there, and I was like, Oh yeah, what the mine's fuck? still there. You can feel it, girl. Like I'm not but getting the pox. I'm not getting the pox. We got our second dose, which I'm gonna have him go on the other arm because I'm like, I don't want that same yeah, arm to be like, get swollen. It finally. Yes, he actually went with me Thank because God. what happened was I got on the website and You're I really X'd out though, but it sent him an email. Every, it's good. So I was like, You're everyone, going. Everyone needs to get go get the monkey pox. Gaze. Go get gays. The vaccine. And honestly. While you're waiting to build up immunity, please stop fucking random. Do you Kiss know what? Slap. Do you remember? How about none of it. Do you want to remember what happened like two weekends ago? What? Remember something called Market Days? Oh, is so we breaking out? Oh yeah. So people went to Market Days, and from here, I have videos of the circuit party, which oh, I need to. Oh, it's disgusting. We can play them. But this also is an explanation, though, to the straights, too. Like, honestly, this I, is what's happening. It's not necessarily really fucking, blame, but it's like... Can you blame some of the straights? Well, that's what I keep explaining. Like, well, it's When they're the like, oh, here they go again. <laughs> I'm I like... Know. I, I know. I don't want to... We're not, like, sex shaming or anything, but it, it is to the point where you're like... Hey, but you're not being responsible. Hey, if just for the next, like, two months while you build immunity, if you could just not... Not... Ru and it's not, not even do sex. That. It's even just, like, stop taking off your shirt and hugging every person in the club. Like... Let's be smart. Let's be. Let's not go to circuit parties. Let's go ahead and get the just winter for, here. Just for literally well, two months. It is the circuit parties. It's the circuit Point parties. It's, and then it's like you're a little drunk. And then next, first you're rubbing. Then you're making out. Then you're like, I want to fuck you. Oh, I want to fuck my oh. pussy. Oh, God. Oh, oh, fuck my hole. Fuck. And then. And then <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. I'm like, how do we get back to the normal? How do we get to. And then you return to your hometown and you're like, I was at Market Days all weekend. It was so fun. Like, I have this weird rash and I'm just like, it's fine. Like, I'm going to go to Axis and oh, go to like all the clubs. It's like, no, stop going out. Stop rubbing your fucking pussies on each other. Get vaccinated and then you can go out. Okay. And, it, and if anyone has issue with that and says it's like sex shaming, I'm I'm done with you. I'm not I don't want to talk shaming. to you. I don't want to hear no. from you. This is like, why we're a joke. Just go away. I'm sorry. This is why this the gays. This is why the me, gays get a bad rep because you have it's Demi like, Lovato. Yeah, you have monkey pox and the way we're acting. It's like we don't even know how to stop. We're like, oh, AIDS. Let's catch it. It's like no. Like yeah. It's like maybe, no. That's the thing. Bug chasing. People oh, do that. I, know, I can't. I know. I just can't do it. I this. I'm done. Done. We're done with you. I are we old? I'm old. I don't know. We're not act well. I speaking of old, birthday. you did just have a birthday. How did that go? Were you in crisis mode? Were you? I believe you were, from what I recall. Um, because you did. Oh, uh, honey, start I've been doing in a therapy. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. I think what we should talk about is our trips, and then I can bleed okay. my trip into therapy. Into okay, I feel like that might be best. That might be what's best for the folk. You I started, had a little adventure. So you were talking about Montreal, how you like literally cried when he came back. So tell us why. Okay. So Matt and I went to Montreal and he's never been out of the country. Okay. Oh my God. Really? Well, if you say that, he'll uh, argue with you and say he went to Niagara Falls Puerto when Rico. he was like a kid. I'm like, okay, count. as an adult, you've never been out of the country. Okay. Got it. Got like, it. We're going to go to Canada. So we go to Canada. And we you go flew into Quebecois or we flew into Quebec, Quebec City. City and it's basically this beautiful place. Mm -hmm. With buildings from the 1600s. Was it though, really? Yeah. Like, oh, did yeah. you feel like you were in a different world, kind of? Yeah. Oh, that's it's weird. Cool. It's that's weird cool. as fuck. You're walking around just like, oh, Like, where am I? What the fuck? These buildings are from 450 from years France. ago. Like, they're so old. Oh, the Everything's old. Oui, oui. And everyone's speaking French. So it's just like, you're having fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're having a little fun. Everyone's speaking French and you're having fun. <laughs> oh my God, and my... you're literally... <laughs> no, we took a train from Quebec City on Wednesday and went to Montreal, which is where... The real fun began. And why? Because they have strip clubs. Um, uh, fully nude, as you remember. remember. Yeah, yeah. So we get to this first strip club. And first of all, Matt's like. Campus? Campus. We went to Campus oh, first. That's the best one. So we go to Campus on a Wednesday it's a night. Creepy. It's a little creepy. You go upstairs. You have to walk upstairs Off to the, the second floor. Yeah, because remember and, there's like yeah. a middle floor and you're like, is this Is it? this it? Like, no, no keep, going. keep going. So I keep going up for the dick. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay. So we sit down. We're talking to the bartender. First problem I noticed, though, this is my only complaint of Canada. The uh, way they make their drinks. How do they do it? 
they measure the shots. No, we can't. You're do in measure. a gay bar, and you're measuring. Charge me two dollars more liquor. and and pour it over. I and you know how they do it? Not with a little thing. No, with it a, stops it. With an electro no, it's not just that. It's an electronic measuring system. I can't. That's so like they type into the computer what you ordered, gin and tonic. Okay. And then they put what type of gin? It goes ding. And okay. It divvies it and out. Next to the computer attached is this little thing that Stop. looks like a U shape. They grab the bottle of gin, they turn it upside down and put it in that U shape thing. Then that U shape thing says one shot and then does a mechanism with the bottle top. So a one shot. Wow. So, then, so then they flip it over with that thing still on it. Then they get the glass, pour it. That's one shot. Exactly. And then that computer, that little device Registers keeps track that. of it too. So if there's an extra missing, they, they'll be like. So that measures so, by the shot. So they know exactly how much liquor they've sold, how much was distributed, how much they need to order. So it's like, Now I whoa. will say. Now like, I will say. Now Canada I has can see a, why. Like, do you remember when they have the, the like, where they hand you the card? You, like, put your own card in. And Everywhere. Like, Everywhere that you go. That is the smartest thing. I think that they're just like a little bit ahead of us. They're you ahead know, of us. I love how people in America are like, we're the best. No, no. No, when you when you pay a bill there, they just walk up to you with their they device. They hand the and device like, and say, here, oh, put you your card in when you're ready. You know how all these people can't do tips? You know, I'm looking at you. You can't do tips. You can't add up 10% plus 10% is 20% because you don't know you the decimal the iPhone, point trick. Um, you don't do, yeah, you use your calculator. Well, in Canada, you little you put your card in, a little device, a little screen comes up. You do 15, 20, 25. You can do whatever you want. Period. You push a button with your finger. And it's done. It's done. Prints out a receipt. You don't wait for does the... Does it print out a receipt? Or yeah, does it email? Prints you out can, a receipt. You probably have a choice. Or email. And you don't even have to wait for the waiter to go away with right. your card, come back. Bye. So when you're done and ready to go, you're, you're you gone. Go. That's <sighs> Canada. But the shot measuring... But now the shot measuring ordered, is also for... Like, that's also like, a part of the symptom of Canada, though. Like, they're very funny. efficient, they're, they're but they're, they're efficient. I asked the bartender, I said, why do you do that? And he's like, well, people were, like, giving out too much liquor, and so basically that's stealing. I'm like, oh, I guess you're... If you're a business owner and you have certain bartenders giving out stealing. shots yeah it is stealing that's stealing because you're like whenever he's on on thursday night we really go through the vodka that's fucked up though because you could never you could ugh. i mean but it's a gay bar so i order doubles everywhere yeah, i would have to. i still yeah. didn't get drunk i still or i ordered doubles everywhere i don't think their shots are the same i'm just saying well the, is there like is the proof different no Weird. i just i was like i'll have a double hendrix and tonic it makes you appreciate the american gay community because you can get one drink literally you get a and drink, you're done yeah like you're, you're like, literally like one and you're like why do i feel so funky it's like because you just drank Co costa rica yeah. um scorpion infused <laughs> vodka that um costa rica. it's like i don't ew that's what it says in the bottle so we're um, sitting at the strip club and matt goes wait a minute the first answer came out he goes wait a minute do they get naked here some of them walk out naked. Literally, the first guy walked out naked. I'm like, yeah, yeah. they get naked. Don't they like here. pretend jerk off on the stage and stuff? Like, don't they like? Oh, are they allowed to get? I think they do get hard. No, you come out. They come out hard they and come get out. soft with their dance because uh -huh. they're not really yeah. probably like horny. Um, you know, they're. It's weird to get hard. Think about you on a Sunday night. You know what I mean? Like, like it's you're, like you're done. You're ready for bed. You're nervous about work. They're like, I just need to make my money and go. They're like, they. I think they use a penis pump. I would. And then they get hard. They come out and they start. But I mean, the number of hot guys. I remember. I remember that it's like it's like some, kind of like where you're like there were some like thicker ones like oh well that's in now by the way and I'm like looking like are you fucking thick is in this period. is like a homestyle lumberjack coming out oh. there was a redhead with red corn fed yeah oh, oh and this was the part though one oh. of the nights we went to the strip club and there's this really hot guy with like a neck tattoo and like he was like. He was a skater yeah. boy. He said, "See you later, boy." Na, 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 na. And I'm like, I can't wait for him to come out naked. So he comes out naked. It wasn't what you thought. It was the size of a clitoris, was literally. It, was it a T deck? This big. Oh. I mean, he and he was uncut. So like, I don't know how much of that was skin and how much was dick. You're like, and so he's doing his moves. He gets down on the stage and he's like humping, <sighs> and. Yeah, and then like pretending but this to shove is what, a face But in. like most but of the guys that have big muscles and like that, we all know you have a little dick. And you that's what I realized. I was, and a lot of the guys came out and had completely normal. I like average. Five, I like small dicks. Five dicks, inch actually. rock hard. Five inch. I like that. I loved it. I kind of like that around, better. It's but better. They're acrobatic. They are really good on the pole. I remember that. I remember they would like um, do that little like on the ground and they're like holding themselves up and you're like, I see your dick touching the floor, but you're also doing this like this small dick guy though was like really hot. So would you have fucked him? Well, he came up to the table because he could sell it. I was staring at him. He was like, "Oh, you're staring at me." I remember last time so they like, come up, they'd be like, hey, "Oh, you want a date? You, you want, want a dine? Buy? Do you want the?" They're dine? like all Ukrainian too. It's like interesting. Yeah, Russian Ukraine. I mean, I they mean, don't live downtown. I asked. I'm like, "Do you live near?" They're here? like, "No, we like, take the train from Quebec City." Literally, like, he's oh. like, "No, I'm about 20 minutes outside the city." I was like, "Okay." 
So you're one of those suburbs guy. A suburb, um, like little Ukraine. Little tiny. Now, little tiny dick Ukraine. I do have to briefly pause real quick to okay. see if I can tell a story. That's fine. There we go. There we go. Hello? What's in the background? Can what you are mute? you watching? Can you mute what's in the background? I'm watching Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Please mute it or pause it. Wait, Desperate Housewives, that's like, oh my God, that's the old oh, show. Hold on. That's when we were in high school and we weren't even allowed to watch it. And it was like, oh my God, these whores yeah, from the whores, but like they weren't. Okay, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you and I muted it. Okay. Now we I wanted to call you. Um, we wanted to ask you a question. Now, yes. I heard there were some um, things in Montreal that we might be able to talk about or might not be able to talk about. So number one, we're confirming what we can talk about. Okay. So can we talk about anything in Montreal, like any kind of um, payment plans that you made or any kind of like situations? <laughs> we're talking about the dick sucking. Oh, I don't care about that. Well, do you want to tell the story? Stop. You're costing me too much money. <laughs> oh, uh, my. But you, Jim was definitely slapping you. Jim was slapping, but Jim was also putting down that credit card. It sounds. I did. <laughs> now, can they do they take credit cards? They didn't. Oh, cash? Yep. Uh, it was Canadian bad. cash? Yep. No, I can't. Yep. Do that. Yep. No, yep. It was really bad. bad. Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to hear about the story. Let, let Jim tell it. All right. We'll do that. Thanks, Thanks. man. Okay. Bye. You're welcome. All right. Bye. It's kind of fun to call people. We should prank people. I love calling people. We should always it's just do like this. prank. Um, okay, so, so we got permission. So our first night there, you know, after Matt realized that uh, strippers come out nude, uh, one of them Changes came things. over. Carmelo came out, and Carmelo had a massive dick, and so we were like, "Oh, that's amazing." So Describe we were, Carmelo though. Like Carmelo what, height, looked weight. like. I don't know if you're allowed to say the word Guido. So yeah, uh, so like Jersey, Remember Shore, Jersey Shore looking, looking like Carmelo like Poly D. Was fully Italian, like had a, cr oh, a silver cross okay. chain and big necklace chest. on. Big the Italians chest. have big, big titties. Oh my god, that's why I have big, big titties, chest. but I don't work them out. Abs. He was tan. I mean, remember he was very very tan. tan. Jim tan laundry. Gelled hair. JTL. Gelled hair. JTL. Like that type of okay. Gelled hair. Like so, like a Guido. And an I don't accent. Fuck and an accent. Say. I don't care anymore. Right. So this guy's like. Hot circa 2009 Jersey Shore. Okay. Matt had been staring at him because when he came out, he was uncut and he was at least eight. Now, inches. does Matt like uncut? Well, I mean, I'm not after saying after Montreal. Any... I think we all do. Honestly, I'm actually not opposed to it. I anymore. like it. Now. I kind of I'm like, like into it. That's fun. Is that what happens when you get older? You just, just want to like suck... pull it back. Yeah. You just want to suck that head. Yeah. And find it first because some of these <sighs> skins are just really, you really have to pull it's like back. You're, yeah. You're like a clown. It's like, what is going on here? Like Can you, how do you even pee sometimes? I'm like, how do you pee? Um, and then I ask myself the same thing. So, um, yeah, turtle head. When it's um, <laughs> so Carmelo comes over to our table and he's like, do you, do you want a couple's dance? And I'm like, what's that? I was like, no, Matt, that? I, I go, Matt can go. Cause I was like, just right, send like, Matt. He's well, like, you're also like, and then Matt's looking at, cause I'm like, I don't care. Like, but I, you're a people pleaser. You're a giver. You're a gifter. Yeah, I'm like, go. You would rather give a gift yes. than receive a gift. So you're like, I want to see his reaction. Yes. I want him to go yeah. see. I want Matt to have an experience. I like, want him to. He's going to love Montreal. So, you know, Matt's like, no, you can come too. I was like, okay, fine. Fine. And Ugh. I was like, but before we went, I was like, how much is it? <laughs> I literally looked up at Carmelo. I'm like, how much is it, bitch? Because I only took out so much cash before I came here. Yeah. And there's a $3 fee for my non-bank ATM. There's a foreign transaction and fee. And we're not about to get halfway through and you'd be I, like, oh, another five. It's like, no, that's, honey. And that's why I was like, I need to know. He's like, $20 per person per song. So I'm like, a song is like two minutes, by the way. They do like two minute cuts. Oh, so it's that's not like a six minute version no. of anything. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the you don't get a customized. Taylor Swift 10 minute version all too well. It's <laughs> Literally, it's not like that. It's That's what that you should request the next time. I'll like, take a ta all too um, well. All too well. Taylor's the, version. The Taylor's version, not the regular. I'm waiting. That's actually kind of funny. Keep as dancing. Far. I want the whole Lemonade album. Um, yeah. <laughs> like what? He's like no per song. So I have like two minutes. Like we won't need more than four minutes. You know, after that you're you're like thrilled. Your thrill is gone. You're so, thrilled. Yeah. It's so over. I was like, that'll be eighty dollars. Like we can do eighty. I have that much. I had like a hundred. So we get back there. He takes us back to the back room. You sit in a booth, by the way. It's open to everyone. Everyone can see it. I remember. Don't you remember like you could go up the stairs, but you also go. Like, no, no. The... We just went into that glass area, the booth area. <laughs> oh like, it wasn't a, it wasn't a private area at all. So we're sitting in this dark booth, but like oh, looking out to the public where everyone else is sitting. And Carmelo starts dancing. He's fully naked. He's doing that. And I'm like on you like oh. I looked up at him. I was like. He's like, touch me. And I was like, do you want me to touch you? I, I, I literally asked. I go, 
I said, do you want me to touch you? I love how you're looking up like you're looking at God. Like, do you want me to touch you? I was like, you? do you want me to touch you? And he's like, I don't care. I don't want your money, you dumb like, bitch. He goes, yeah, I do. And I was oh. like. Are Maybe you thought I was part I of the go, sale. No, I said, are you sure? You're like, tell me you want me to touch. Because I'm just like, I want your consent before I just start touching you. Yeah, it is kind of awkward. Like, I don't want to pay to touch you. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, I want you to like, want me I'll to touch you. I'll pay you for whatever you're doing because I appreciate I'll pay that. you, but I also want to know that you want it. And that's hard to find. And that's hard to find. Especially that's really hard to find. Um, so he said, yeah. So I start, like, touching his abs. I touch his sides. <laughs> I love how you looked I, over here to, like, touch my abs. And you're like, mm, never mind. Yeah. I said the side. Oh. Um, oh. Next <laughs> thing I know, Matt's touching the ass. Matt's oh. grabbing the butt. I'm just, like, touching that. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so Carmelo turns around and just spreads his cheeks. And I'm looking at that like, first now, of all, that, it looked really good. But it's a straight guy, though, probably. Oh, it has to be. Clean, straight hole. Although he was soft when he came in and got hard when we were touching him. Well, I think any, any, so I still I'm just think saying, any straight guy I would get hard. I think he likes the attention. Yeah, uh, it's all about attention. If guys who are obsessed with him are rubbing his body, like he's going to get hard. And he did. So next mm. thing you know, he's showing us hole. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Fuck. He's like, go ahead, go ahead. I look at Matt's eyes. Matt's fully in a trance. Matt is in a trance. I mean, I, he was like, he's in a trance. And I, well, I, because and then, it is. I remember when we went, we were in shock. We were like, wait, is this really happening? Like we're seeing yeah. cock just like. Well, slap. Carmelo starts backing up the ass into Matt's face. Now I know that's gonna cost extra. I'm not gonna allow it. So I'm going. Like stop, While stop. I'm still touching. I'm like, oh my god, you're being like a mom. You're like stop. stop it. And I looked over. Like, it, he looked at my eyes. He's like, oh no. And I go. I was like. The fucking morning. I was like, don't do it. This is night one. So he's like, he was like, <gasps> and then stopped. And I was like, D -d -d -d. I was like, good, don't do it. So Carmella turns around. Now it's so hard. if he would have touched that tongue to that ass, oh, it would have been an extra hundred dollars. That's points. Accumulate points. Dollar. That's yeah. extra points. It's like, it's like a little scoreboard above you. Like you like, come ding, with ding, ding. you so come like, with your tokens. That's extra points. So oh, fuck. We don't have enough tokens. No, no, there's not enough tokens. Hard night one. Now hard dicks in the face. I'm looking at it like how many tokens? I was like, that's great. He's like, touch it. I was like, yeah, but this is gonna yeah. cost extra. But Carmelo told us, so I'm like, oh yeah, I'll touch it. Touching it. Hot. Okay. Don't you love touching a foreign cock? Oh, I love not it. Not by foreign, I mean like not a foreigner, but like a foreign, like op like a different anyone's, cock. Yeah. Anyone. It's just different. It's I weird. was like, wow, that feels cool. And he was uncut. So I was like, you know, experiencing Trying to that. experiment. Like, I'm with like, the, that's the cool. Head. Okay. Okay, I stopped touching it because I'm like, that was fun, but like that was probably fifty dollars. So <sighs> I like I just like to rubbing his side and look over. Matt has his dick in his mouth. Matt starts sucking off Carmelo. <laughs> and I'm like, remember when I just elbowed you to remember not when I was eat his you not to spend money? Because we're in monkeypox times and we're with a stripper. So I don't know where his ass or his dick has been to we're start. For for one, for one, well, for two, I have no idea. Oh no! So I'm sitting here he had like no self control. He just had no to. self control. He, he had to. He was in a trance, so he's just like wah, 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 wah. You're like, hey, hi. Finally, I was like, okay, hi. We're not in a random alley. Like this is paid for. So like the way I stop. stopped, the way I stopped it was like I was like Carmelo. That's two songs. That's and what I'm ask you. What songs face. are playing? Do we know the song titles? Um, there was a Britney, but it was like techno version, and then there were like other work, bitch. They're all like remixes, so like I don't really remember. right. They're all the Quebecois. Yeah, the short two minute short two minute remixes, short two minute remixes yeah. and it's on to the next. So I just didn't know if that had it. Like, I go okay, so we like get ready thanks, like to stand Carmelo. up. I was like, thanks, Carmelo, and I was like, okay. What do we so owe I said, so is that eighty dollars? Because that's two songs, twenty per person per song. Oh, but you had cock in mind. Nope. He's like. Well, plus extra. I was like, extras for what? Knowing it's but you know. He goes, all the rest is extra. I'm like, okay, so what is it? What is it? So oh it turns God, out scared. it's like forty for one, forty for one, forty for the other. It was like a hundred one for whole. So like holes a forty dollar, a dick's a yeah. forty dollar. I was like, so that's I was like, so how much do you need? And he's like, uh two hundred make, making it up. A hundred and forty dollars. I was like, okay. I was both mad. At that and also point, you just like, gotta be done. I was like 140. Like, if that's what I'm walking away with, are you really gonna get mad at that? Like, it's well, fine. Matt, I was like, Matt, why did you do that? So then Matt felt upset, and I felt bad for making him oh. feel upset because it was his first experience. Right. He like went he to said, like a... he's like, I was a kid in the candy store. I was like, it's okay, fine. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're gonna have fun the rest of the trip. Yeah, you gotta move on. But like, it... I said, we're, I said, no more private dances. Now I did at, on Friday night. No. I, <laughs> I saw a bachelorette party that was at the strip club because because ladies go to strip clubs which i want to ask about i feel weird when women are there because it's a gay strip club and they honestly took over the space right they um, were front row of every table because hi 
Welcome to Nashville. No, I know. It's Nashville. I was like, oh, okay. Have you been to Nashville? Yes. Oh, okay. So we'll talk about that mm. on your trip, too, mm. because I was just like, well, I'm fine with like ladies being I'm there in it. general, but I was like, it is a gay strip club in the gay village of Montreal. It's not a straight strip club. It's the gay village. Like, I and wonder what the actual owners, though. Like, they're probably like, we like they this. They want the money, money. But, like, I know the bartender was rolling his eyes. He's like, yeah, it's ladies' night. So mm. I look I look over. I got to watch for about 15, 20 minutes um, the bachelorette get fucked in the corner. <laughs> I literally am, like, sipping my drink. And she's but then like, I just oh, turn around. Oh, oh, a booth oh. that's, like, literally right behind me. I'm just like, I'm watching this big muscle daddy. Just like grind on her, smack gears. her ass, just smack it, Hard. and like humping her doggy style, oh, and she's just like, fuck. oh, like he pulled on her veil, and she's That's just hot. her tops off. Now I'm pull like, my veil. I was like, is this even allowed? You can just get fucked in public. He's like, I'm gonna on. choke you with that veil. I think he did. I would like it, but I then look over to her table, and all her like best maidens or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Are literally putting dollar bills on the table. <laughs> the best maidens. The best maidens were like, "Oh, this is gonna cost us." I'm not kidding. You should see they their eyes. You. They're all looking they're at head on your like, yeah. Stop. Oh, they literally Becky, were like, "Stop." Roll. They were like, "Oh my god!" And they're like putting twenties, fifties out on the table because they know that's gonna cost it's like, like just five hundred dollars. Bye. Just leave us alone. To get bred by a stripper is five hundred dollars. <laughs> She's gonna go to her wedding pregnant from pregnant, a stripper. And she's like, it's yours. He's like, "Why is it a dark? How is it yeah, mine? Like, wait, I'm black. And is this, this Carmelo's? Yeah, like, is this Carmelo? Fucking Carmelo. I swear to God. So. I don't know though, ladies in the strip club. Like it was fun to watch, but I was also like, you know what? I kind of wanted. I liked it when it was just gay because men. it feels. I know what you mean. Like you just I want gay men. Me. Yeah, you want to be able to feel like you're actually being a part of something that's bigger than just you. Not everybody can have this. Okay. Little funny moments. Um, Matt was trying to learn a little French. And oh, we well, we just heard him. So yeah, you know how he you know how he sounds. He so know he probably doesn't. His dialect won't be. So he tried to. Genocide. Do some like funny. He's like, I wonder how to say you hot steaming pile of shit. I was like, well, that's interesting. I love I how that's you don't even say that in English. Well, how about hello? He goes to Google Translate. We're standing in line at a museum. Silence. It's quiet. Puts it in to the museum where the girl ripped the. Okay. So he yeah. So he puts that types that in, and then does it to French, and then clicks play. So out loud in a French speaking city, he's playing you steaming pile of shit. Out loud, Google Voice is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, I feel like we I need to take like, away his phone. What's that? I was like, he's like, <laughs> he's laughing. And then I look at him, he played it again, and I was like, I took his phone after the oh, second time. So this was like a cultural. Because people were turning like, around right. like. This is like where you have to explain to somebody who's never been out of the country. Like, like hi. These are this they their understand lives. What, yeah, they this understand their normal what lives. Google it's not funny. Translate is speaking their language. So they get what you're saying. You're, it's like somebody it's coming like here. going, hot steaming pile of shit. Hot right. steaming pile of shit. And Americans are just like, why are you saying that? Right. Like if you just walked around the street and you're just like, hot. Oh, my God. It would be the same. I was like. Matt, honey, honey, we can't be doing listen, that. Listen, Why are you speaking like that, Je ne sais quoi? That's embarrassing. Yeah. Like, well, here's the thing. I, I want to applaud Matt for a moment just for like going to a new country, experiencing a new thing, and actually like kind of living it up, it sounds like. It Matt? sounds like he didn't give a fuck. Clap to you. Kudos to you. However, <laughs> we need to learn the etiquette of um, going to a different country, which I don't know the etiquette that well either. I was going to say. Oh, fuck off, first of all. I'm like, do we need to recall? Do you want to say? Oh, you don't need to recall? Um, no, we don't need to recall. Um, I've learned a lot through the years. I've, I want to thank my sponsors. I want to thank everyone who's taught me how to speak in French in the appropriate manner. <laughs> Not go on Google Voice. I need a fat cloud, I think. You I need think a fat cloud. Because I'm about to talk about. You're coming down. What's your other story? What's your other Nashville? Okay, so. So what else is like. Remember what? the bathrooms in Montreal at all? Because they are floor to ceiling doors. You go in your stall. There's no little under. You can't see the, the legs or the f shoes of the people next to you. Everybody's individual. You have a private stall individual. Oh, I love and I have that. a little video to send you of that. Oh, uh, we will definitely show I'm it. I'm in my stall. I feel in my safe space. You can just make whatever noise you need to make. Is that everywhere? Everywhere. Every bathroom was like that. Is it all all gender? Yeah. Also, a lot of the bathrooms are all gender, like in restaurants right, and like, bars. And okay, the bars. Here's your private. I literally went in the stall, and then I'm like, a woman's next to so me. So that's like the moxie in Columbus. When yes, we go in there, and it's like there's women and men. You're like, hey. And they're like, hey, bye. And I'm like, I'm going to go to this urinal stall if you go to You're the, just like, hi. Don't look at my penis. Um, and they and did. It's it. like some butch lesbian uh, being like, that's a small dick. Oh, look at that little 
My, my clit's bigger than that. My strap-on's bigger than that. I'm like, well, God yeah, damn. you buy a strap-on bigger. I oh, would. You if probably I was have pegging, one. You, you know. actually, men can buy them too. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I know exactly. That was like, I know what's available for do people. Do you? Well, yeah, because for people of size, people who want size. Honestly, I'm actually really happy with my appendage. Oh, thank you. Finally, finally, I want. Did you have a little trip? I believe I had a little trip, and I want to segue from the bachelorette party to right to Nashville because that's what Nashville is. Um, I hated it, by the way. Good. I, I think it's appropriate. I I yeah. literally was like, it's one why of those the fuck? Like, I didn't even go out to the bar. I, I can't. Like, I just can't. Like, I'm not that age anymore. It's like a 25 year old's paradise. It's like you get to relive your mm -hmm. college years at mm -hmm. 25, though. Yeah. Um, when you're 38 that weekend yeah. you're kind of like where's like the sidebars like where's the quiet bars like i don't oh. want to go to bro this broadway street where people oh. are like li i mean i saw people throw up i saw people like all these bars like oh my god tonight's the night and you're like honey is this your first or second wedding like if it's your first <laughs> i'm sorry you're gonna have another night like this but it probably won't be here it'll probably be in like reno <laughs> oh god. i just can't like i just can't we, we can't afford the vegas trip literally 9 a.m the fucking the cars are already going. The what are they called? The fucking like pedal Fire. wagons. Oh and the, no, the, the pedal wagons at 9 a.m. They had this thing like a trailer wagons where they would just drag people around in trailers with like a tractor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like every Nashville corner. Nashville is like all the worst elements of America pushed into a city. Nashville is a straight girl bachelorette party at a gay bar. That's exactly oh, what it is. Fuck. It, it is. Why are you saying that? Because. That's the worst insult I can think no, of. No, but it's not. It's the straight people who want to be like free, like gay people. Like we go to the bar and we're like, yes, queen, honey, blah, 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 blah. They want that so fucking bad. So like, let's let's have a city where we are can that. act like that. We can do whatever we want. We can fuck everybody because that's what, I mean, that's what, I mean, gays are, as we can. But we do it everywhere. To, right. So it's like our everyday is this is their Nashville. But, but, but also it's like too concentrated. But they're Nashville on crack yeah. at like P Town during Bear Week, or you know what I'm saying, right. or like during a it's big circuit party. Like we, it's like a circuit party. Oh my god, it's a straight it's a person cir circuit party. That's it. Straight person circuit party. Yep. Nashville. That's Nashville. Except the outfits. Can we talk about? Can that? we talk about the outfits? Like, did you see the all these shoes? fake cowboys and like? The frills and then the Honey. cowboy hats and then the the tans and the topes and all these. <laughs> I fucking hate their outfits. Like I, I hate thought, women who now, dress like Nashville, like the the jeans into the cowboy boots. Like why? And then these boots were like sparkly. I'm like They're Honey. sparkly white. First you're like, of all, this you're... looks like you got to pay less. Like I Ugh. know you didn't pay money for that. Sorry, no shade, no tea. But like if you're Did gonna you walk around and you bedazzled it at home, yeah, like, like this looks homemade. Like yeah, if you're yeah. gonna actually do the bedazzle, you better fucking do it right. Um. There's always a bedazzled girl in every group. There's always a girl with a fucked up veil that looks like shit, but they're like her friends made it for them. There's, there's always like a big girl in really tight jeans. Always a there's big girl in tight jeans. Always a big girl in tight and a, and a crop top. And I'm like, and you can like, and it's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you, a white one. you have to cover up the yeah. in between area. Like, no, honestly, no shade. Like, you can wear whatever you want. And to be honest, she's probably getting fucked. Oh, she's well, definitely sucking oh, dick. She's sucking dick in the stall. That's the thing. Now, I don't know if any of our straight male listeners know, but like, if you're if you're looking for any, if you want your dick sucked, get it from a girl that. Go to Nashville. I actually did experience it. I went to this place that had three floors yes, and a rooftop Kid Rocks. of, uh, okay, is that the one? It's on and Broadway. That, yeah, it's Kid Rocks. And it's like every area had a different kind of music, mm -hmm, kind mm -hmm. of. It literally was sidetrack in Chicago in Boys Town. Right. But I was like, but shitty. But no gays. But shitty. No gays. No gays. Girls throwing up in, in 20 year yeah, olds. You're in like, 20 year olds. Hi. But then also like 40, 50 year old men. Creeping okay, on the okay, 20 year olds. Okay. And you're looking like, oh my God, I'm so glad you said that because it was like, you're like, this you're is either weird. 20. Or you're pushing sixty. Um, that's Nashville because you're like, oh, you're, but you're He's, pushing sixty two packs a day, men and women, two packs a day. Oh, for sure. The people pushing sixty aren't like Gobbler attractive. Yeah, yeah, like like sunspots. Like, like yeah, like they don't wear Gobbler sunscreen. Necks. <laughs> they wear a fucking uh, banana boat. Oh fuck! The banana boat oil. They're like, oh yeah, daddy. That's oh, the I want to look thing. like leather. So Nashville was a fail. I actually fell in love with the Strokes again, though. So. <laughs> Thank you.
There's that's that. A, that's a plus. The only thing that really came out of that was um, the Strokes open for Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I was bitching about. But actually, Red Hot Chili Peppers was really good. Their guitarist is fucking disgusting. Did they come out in cock socks? No. Sock cocks? I didn't even care about the other ones. So apparently their guitarist left 10 years ago. And so this was his first concert back. This motherfucker... I didn't even know Red Chip Peppers like I was like oh, mother got to got to get it to your mama like that kind of shit. This guy is wailing on the guitar like Pink Floyd concert. I'm I like, just don't remember this. I know it was fucked up. I was like, wait, I actually like really like this concert. It was a great show. The Strokes were there though, so now I'm obsessed with them. So go check them out. Um, oh my God. But I hate all bachelorette parties. I hate all like sixty year old parties. There's a way to do them, and there's a way to not do them. Oh, honestly, I just had a flashback. I think my sister went to Nashville. I think I hate Nashville. For her back. Oh, wait. Yeah, probably. A yeah, lot of I can no, see they did. They again did. when I'm 24. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is heaven. I mean, even for a straight gay, this is heaven. A straight gay. Well, I was a straight gay. <laughs> like I would have been on Craigslist and had people over right away. Because all the straight guys, I'm telling you. The straight you, guys there, they're, gay they're also fuck. wearing bedazzled boots. They literally just want to fuck. And tight, tight jeans. The tightest jeans you've ever seen. And then and they're like, like, they have their shirt open. Ass yeah. cold. There was Lemonade. A fucking, there was a fucking bus thing that went by and they're like, ass cold beer. And I'm like, it's 10 o'clock. Like, 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, yeah, like you were just out like till 4 a.m. Like you, how, again, I'm old and I can wow. recognize this, but that's exactly what I felt. Like I was like, wow, this is bad. Like actually I kind of wish you were there to like cause some ruckus. Oh, I like, would have. But I'm like, I don't know if and actually I we was talking to Jackie. There. We should. Actually, I was thinking we should go there during Pride though. It might be actually fun during Pride when all the gays take over. <sighs> or when Monkeypox breaks up for the straights, we can go. That's when we'll go. I can't wait for the cities to be emptied by all these straights with monkeypox. Yeah, fuck you guys. We're gonna be at all your bars. Um, so yeah, that was Nashville. Like Nashville's great. That's because I said that about monkeypox and straights. God does hate the gays. Oh, my God. Good thing we're not doing a Bible study today because I feel like we would get murdered. We could get struck. Oh, my God. What if this is God? What if he, like, comes here and goes? What if he walks through that door and it's like, he's like, so, you boys, you've been really nasty You've been today. nasty to me. Oh, I've got to tell you about that. That's actually something I'm going to tell you. What? Girl? Spill girl, the tea. fuck. Girl, well, girl, fuck. So we've been reading the Bible. Okay. We've been experimenting with the Lord or whatever. Um, I Textually. Got on, I got on Reddit. And I wrote on gay guys over 30. So it's like a group. Like, it's not the twinks anymore. We're getting older. Thick. So you can just talk about, like, normal things, not, like, sex or anything like that. Okay, I love it. So I wrote. I said, hey, we're, like, doing this thing in our podcast. Like, I did not promote the podcast. Like, I literally said, like, I just literally said, like, hey, what's everybody's thoughts on God? Like, and and whatever your thoughts are, have you read the Bible recently as an adult? That was it. I love that. That's a very nice question. So I literally... Oh. Let it go, let it go, let it go. People are commenting. It's a, it's a hot post. It's a hot post. So somebody writes, remember when I read that that quote that I was like, this is the best thing I've ever heard in my life? Remember? remember? <laughs> when I was like, this is the best way it's ever been said, like people who are like. Right. So I commented on that guy's comment. I said, oh, my God, I've never thought of it this way before. This is great. Right. Like, hello. Post was taken down. I was reprimanded. I should have been banned from the group. All this stuff, and I go, I'm sorry. I said, I'm a so I'm allowed to post, but I'm not allowed to have my own opinion. When somebody else, I've already told him as well. And so, what? You're not allowed to have opinions honey, about God I can't even or tell religion. You. I can't even tell you. Like, I can't even tell you how fucked up this was. Like, I'm gonna send the. I'm actually gonna link everybody to this so Good. they can see it. I think I can still send the link, oh, even yeah. though it's like dead. Nobody can comment on it, but you can still see it. Oh yeah. These people were so fucking these Christians, the administrators the gay or the Christians. Christians yeah. the gay, so he's like, "You're being nasty, and your um, your intentions weren't real." I was like, "My intentions were to really find out how if people are reading the Bible and what they think about it." But however, am I not allowed to have a fucking opinion? 
It's a make believe book. What am I? I'm said, not allowed to talk he about. He goes, it. "Oh, it sounds like you." Some guy said to me, "Oh, it sounds like you believe in God." And I said, "Actually, no. We've been reading it, and actually, it's, we've been kind of ripping on it. Like, mm -hmm. period. Like, that's a fact." You what? Explain this. Come and posted the comments. Explain this. Then the moderator is doing this, and I'm like, my opinion is the book is a whack job. It's a joke. I was like, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's we're reading my, it, and we're yeah. ripping it, and we're tearing it apart. Like literally, like, like we're it's like awful. It's not done. sacred. So fuck you to the moderators, and fuck you to that dumb guy that then decided to be an asshole to me, and I decided not. I'm gonna put him up. Actually, I'm gonna actually fucking show him because I was so I want, mad. I want screen names. Oh, I want all of it. Oh, and this guy's a dick. Like you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm done. Good. I'll go on there. I should just show you. Yeah. Like, I literally was like appalled. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like I said in the moderator, I was like, I, I want to apologize. Like, I really did not. Like, I wasn't trying to promote the podcast. I literally said nothing about the podcast. Like I said, I have a podcast, but that was it. Didn't put a link, nothing. And I was like, I just want to know. I just want to know, like, what people think. Have you read the Bible? Because once was like, you read it. Well, your intention wasn't there. Your intention was wrong. I'm like, so anyway, how does he know your intention? Well, that's exactly what I said. So, so I, I'm really sorry. Like my intention actually was really to understand. I guess I should not. Next time, I won't state my opinion if it's my if I'm the original poster, which is not right. But I, I just think said you're that. allowed to still have right. Opinions so I just kind of said as that. the OP, you can have an opinion. Oh, not to him, not to this moderator. And he's like, <sighs> you're disrespected. It's like, why don't you go read Dr. Seuss next, or why don't you go read? And I go, okay, that sounds like shit. I was Honestly, like, thanks for all the good very, suggestions. Dr. Seuss has more good lessons in What's it than next? the Bible. Are you going to read the Quran? Are you going to read this? Are you going to read Donald Trump's book? I was like, actually, sure, yeah. We like, can. They're probably all just as dumb. And we'll literally react to them as we are the Bible. Like I was like, if the Bible said something nice I, or something that yeah. I was like a positive about, right. I'd be like, cool, that's so great. So far, the first two books No, suck. it's not. It sucks. They all suck. Like, no. So fuck you, Reddit. Fucking moderator, fuck you! Oh my god, I love I'm that. I'm so mad. Like, I'm so mad. I forgot about this. Yeah. Um, Do you want to hear something I'm mad about? Yeah. Because I'm just kind of. I feel like we're on a rant, and I'm we're okay going. With it. We're just, like, fuck the Bible this week. Fuck the government. Let me just get you up to date I love on the this. background of the. Storm. Yeah, it's like meant to be. I yeah. might need another beverage. Yeah, I do too. And we can go a little over because we Let's didn't get have a beverage. episode last I week. I need to get so a beverage. Can, like, like, fuck this. Okay. Okay, so. Let me catch you up now that we have. Uh, oh, I just took a really big swig. Like, I need to slow down already. <laughs> like, why? And that's oh, mine, bitch. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Let me this ain't a queen. This is a fucking fool. Let me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a twin. That's actually, like, a description actually... for you. Like, this ain't a queen. This is a fool. I actually kind of feel like that's this the This ain't next a queen. Shirt. This is a king. <laughs> this ain't a queen. This is a fool. I like that. Oh, my God. I got to write this is what I came back into on my return from Montreal. Okay. And, and uh, Matt will recognize this story. So, you remember that... You remember? You do can, it too. Like, no. I hear you say member. Like, nobody can say time. remember in this fucking party. You remember? In this party. <laughs> in this party. Like this party of people. Like, not we're not having a party. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm 38, and this is a party. <laughs> you're like, and this party. I'm like, we're having a party. You're like, it's just me. I'm like, yeah, I at, know. At this age, anytime you have fun, it's a party. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, my God. Uh, it's like old people in the nursing home. are like, we're having a party. Dear Judas. No, when I worked in a nursing home, I remember, like, the residents being like, we're having a party tonight. I fucking hate I nursing homes. I would go. I hate nursing homes. They would literally have, like hot chocolate out and like those Nella wafers and they'd be like this is the party and I'm like and you have Barb that comes up she's like <laughs> I was so scared of nursing home bath him. time bath time yeah, and you're like oh my god I, like, I ran from this one person kept frantic. they were trying to chase me we were singing carols for them <laughs> I was in student council, so we went to the goddamn fucking uh, nursing home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fucking moment. I'm having a key memory. You're having a key memory. And I literally was running from this old person around the table because I was so fucking freaked out by them because it was like, <laughs> and I was like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. It smelled like piss. I can't. <laughs> Bitch, I worked there. I had to bathe I these nurses. I'm having my cousin a key memory, too. too. My cousin had to wipe ass. Oh, I wiped ass. I sprayed ass. How do you wipe an asshole? Oh. <laughs> like, how do you With really? a lot of wipes. So you like make sure there's a good padding of. Oh, I would lift these men out of their wheelchairs, and there would just be shit on the pad. But you're that lifting they sat them on. up. Well, to help them get up, I'd watch them like stand up, and there's just like an ass shape made out of dried shit on the pad. 
that's on the that's chair. That's why it sounds like piss and shit and fucking earth. Like, I would take them because every, every two days or three, every two to three days, they got a, their special shower because they need that help bathing. <laughs> so I literally would take them in the shower and die sweating and get wet because they said it would, it, they would always say it's not hot enough the water is not hot enough they can't feel anything they can't skin. feel it so they're sitting in the shower on, the, on a bench and i'm sitting there trying to clean them <laughs> it's so steamy i can't see anything because I, I wore glasses <laughs> and i'm going through this. 50 50 plus washcloths there's a pile on the floor to clean their crack <laughs> what do they do an hour after that bath shit they themselves. shit so i'm Why literally they shit like so much literally I, I would Look down at the floor and just be like, there are at least 50 washcloths covered in shit. I could never get them clean. Oh, my God. I'm going to throw up. And then they're just like, it's not hot enough. <laughs> and you're like. You're like, I'm trying to clean your hole. <laughs> I would be so sweaty after a shower. <gasps> that is And then there was this one horrifying. creepy old guy who wanted the bath every time. You're and having a core memory right now. By the way, the bath is they just walk into this, like, seat. And then you close you the sit seat. Down. And you sit. And you're, like, at this level. Like, they're sitting up here. <laughs> you're like, your cock's in my face, sir. Yeah. And then they're, he's like, lower, lower. Make sure you get that again. As I'm, like, rubbing he his was front crack. And stopped. I'm like, I'm like, I've gotten it enough. I think that's enough. He's, like, harder. No, he's literally, like, semi-hard. I'd be like, that's enough. Oh, I would just give him a handy for his life. It might have actually helped him go. <laughs> and that's the, that's the oh, point. you're right. Honestly, like, like give him a heart attack. An orgasm death is the yeah. best. I mean, if think you about could, it. Uh, like, if you could choose, if you could choose, and you're like, ah! you're like, ah! dead, dead, orgasm death. I think that's actually like a thing that's you need your, to look into. That's like Doctor. No, it's your goal. That's, that's your goal. goal. Orgasm you, death. And after orgasm death, sleep death. So yeah, you just like distracted me with a key memory. I did. I don't even know where we're going. Well, I know where I was going. Um, do you remember? Remember? I said remember, bitch. I know. I said remember. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? We can't. My processes. Okay, Gollum. Wow. Wow, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm a fucking hot So man. Matt has this sister that is a COVID denier. Didn't believe the pandemic was real. She's a nurse, by the way. Um, I'm sorry. In our <laughs> systems. Yeah. Yes. Like if I got trapped outside of Columbus, yes. she could potentially be my nurse. Yeah. Potentially. And she's yeah. like non okay. Yep. 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 In the medical field. Um and well, she also That's manages great. a subway now. Anyways. Um <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> no, um, she, no, she thrown. Um so she would she refused the vaccine and argued with us about like why would you get it? And we're like explaining over and over, like, well, here's why. Here's science. And we were even um, finally at one point like, Well, Trump got it, so is that enough for you? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Um, that's what I don't understand. He's the one that toted it. That I got the shot. Yeah, was like, we why? built, we made the shot, and then all his people are like, "No, fuck, we're not doing it." But yet, still but yet, Trump. They all got it, but still Trump. MAGA. Also, MAGA. Well, how do you feel now, Trumpies? I know, you're I, know not, I, love I know this it. is not our demographic. Now but they're like, all just back the blue. They hate the blue now. They're like, "We gotta defund the FBI." I'm like, I think it's so remember funny. you like love the cops, you but you keep hate them. defunding things that yeah. aren't going your way. But like literally, it's because everything's a lie in your life, and you need to realize like at some point you got to take some responsibility and be like, okay, this is a lie. Like it's like what? Like at uh, what point will you realize? At what point are you, like, are you gonna have to be in jail? At what point are you get pissed that like mm, the the last president had like documents for the nuclear war codes like in his house? Like, oh well, what? they were declassified. I'm like, does that even matter? It's the fact that he told people and his people told. That yeah, they found Chinese spies in Mar-a-Lago, like literally Stop. with thumb drives, just trying to walk around and sneak into places and steal information. I'm done. Install malware. I'm done. And they're like, no, it's not a big deal. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Imagine Hillary doing this. Oh. There's no fucking emails. I want to say something about the emails real quick. I know you're on to something, but I really want to say something really quick. Go ahead. If the emails were real, Trump could have done whatever you're saying, the same thing Biden's doing or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Trump could have done that to Hillary, but yeah. guess what? He didn't, and you want to know why? Because there was no information, and there yeah. was no evidence. Now, when there's a fucking evidence, now they, you go now for done. it. No. Also, the president doesn't do everything. Again, it makes sense. Like it's like the FBI decided to do this. The president's like their boss, kind of, but like it's like a CEO. Not really. Like they can't he's like direct. A CEO. Yeah, he can't. He's gonna say... watch over the whole thing, but like he's not individual. There's somebody that is higher that will talk to him. He cannot tell Merrick Garland like what to do. Like the Department of Justice Correct. is independent of the presidency. Merrick Garland is almost, like, it's kind of fucked up. Like people think the president is so powerful, but like they're not. They're really not that powerful. No. It's really everything else that's happening. But anyway, back to you. Sorry. Anyway, so that sister, the COVID denier, um, <sighs> the subway manager, uh, 
she doesn't talk to us, obviously, for obvious reasons. Well, well, we well. haven't heard from her in since and you Christmas. Don't talk to her. Um, it's August. I haven't heard from her since Christmas. Months, when nice. I saw her in, at Christmas party, and I was like, at Christmas party. <laughs> You said it very like <laughs> fucking cunt. Um, I saw her at a Christmas party. At Christmas party. At Christmas party. Well, I was like, what is that called when you get together for Christmas? It's called Christmas party. A Christmas gathering. <laughs> Everything's oh, a party. To... Oh, everything's a party at thirty-eight. Oh no! Oh, fat cloud time. Yeah, I'm too high. I'm about to die. <laughs> no, you're not. It's time for a fat. I cloud. I still talking to my therapist too. Like that's what's scary. Fat it's cloud. Cool. Fat cloud. <laughs> My God. I might have to be a, like, I might have a. a, a... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So we're at the Christmas party. That's the last time I saw her. So I don't talk to her. I don't know what's going on in her life. She doesn't know what's going on in her life. She's never been to our house. She's never visited. We've lived here now ever. a year and a half. Okay. She's never been over. She's never even asked. She's never come to Columbus and said, like, oh, we could get together. Because she doesn't live Older anymore. or younger sister? Uh, I don't really remember. I think older. Okay. It makes sense. Not really sure. Um, okay. So, <laughs> like, why would I? That's the point is, that's I don't know. In trouble. <laughs> no, you didn't get me in trouble. It's like, that demonstrates. I How much you don't know don't who know. the fuck she yeah. is. Okay. Like, okay. So, out of the blue, Mac gets a, te- a text. A text. This past week. It says, where do you live? Or no, it says, what's your address? From this nurse. From this sister. From sister. Matt, Matt's sister te- texts him, what's your address? Matt's I'm like, sorry. haha, why? She's like, what is that? So no. he tells he tells her the address, and Matt says, why? Are you coming to visit? LOL. She said no. Then she goes, do you want a kid? Question mark. He's like, what does that mean? Do you want a kid? He's like, she goes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And he's like, no. What do you mean? This Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? And she's like, like explain what you're doing. Why, yeah. you, like, why are we goes, speaking in code? Right. The sister goes, no. Um, Emma, which is Matt's niece, she's like, Emma is going to college in Columbus. And her classes are on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm like, what? So Matt's like, oh, okay. So how long? For how long? And she goes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Matt says, forever? No, not what days. How long is she doing this class? These classes in Columbus, and she goes twelve months. <laughs> I, so she wait. goes, can so can she stay with you? And Matt's like, I have to discuss with Andrew. Of course, Matt's being nice because that's what you right. do for yeah, family. Yeah, but when you really think about it, you're like, so you've never visited me, and never all of a visited. Sudden, you don't. You don't even like us. You argued with us all last year. You don't get the vaccine. We barely kept the peace now, at Christmas. I was like, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. I do have a question though. And then now she wants her daughter to come live with us now, for a year. Now what? Okay, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I have a question about the daughter. Is she like, maybe she needs you? I know I'm changing the subject. The daughter was wearing uh, Trump pants or Trump 2024 socks the last time I saw her at Christmas. Yeah, so maybe the daughter needs, needs cool. me. The daughter needs Jesus. Honestly, you get back to Jesus, you, you know, get like, away from Trump. The daughter needs <laughs> I, the Jesus therapy. Gets the daughter needs therapy. And oh. judging by her Snapchat, which is always just selfies of herself and being like, uh, uh, that means you have no friends. Do you want to buy my used jeans for fifty dollars? Uh. Li- that's literally what she posts all the time. I'm like, and she's like, you think I want on her? Town. You think you should live? Honey, in the middle people of go to Kmart. They're not gonna get your. Yeah, I know. Your, I'm like, like <laughs> why would someone buy your used jeans? Want my Bugle Boys? I only wear them seven times. I'm like, I Ew. still wouldn't wear your, so your period stained jeans yeah. for any price. Go you pay work me. on the fields. So I'm just like, why does Matt's sister, why does why my she sister, she can why do would that? my sister-in-law want her daughter to live with us? She's never been to the house, never visited, doesn't talk to us, doesn't know anything about us. But now for free, all she, of a sudden, wants, she wants, because all of a sudden they, don't, become, wanna, they right. don't want to get her an apartment. They don't want her to drive every day, an hour and a half to school. Here's a little wrench for everyone just oh, to I take can't in. Wait. Oh my God, you're going on. My brother-in-law, her husband, the sister who's asking us to let her, the daughter live with us, her husband drives to and from Columbus every day to work from New Lexington, Ohio. This is an hour and a half drive to Westerville. Every morning he goes there. Every every afternoon he goes home. That's three hours a day, and he does that five to six days a week. Three hours a so day. So he can't ride her up here? Exactly what I said. I said, so why can't he give this his own daughter a ride to why school? Why doesn't he every... get a house here then and live here for three? I've asked. I've I, actually, I actually asked him. I said, why don't you guys live in Columbus? We wouldn't live in Columbus. 
it's dangerous or it's dirty. Like that's what they say about Columbus. Oh, they're these people. Oh no, I know. Oh my god, that's and that's why I, honestly I told Matt I was like absolutely. I, I said absolutely not. She cannot stay with us. Now are these <laughs> folks going to be at? They're going to be at the wedding because we invited them because we have to because it's siblings. I can't. I don't know if I can be nice. You don't have to. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, how? I'm going to be pleasant and polite. I'll be pleasant, but I'll pleasant be and polite. I'll be like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, are you guys doing okay here in Columbus? Oh, you love Columbus? Are we are you clean surviving? enough for you? Are you surviving? It's like, girl, you have grit in your teeth and you have dirty nails. Like, what are you <laughs> talking about Columbus being? I know exactly what she looks like. Oh. smoking fucking cigs. She does She's smoke cigs. I she, know. She smokes cigs. She loves Hot Pockets. Like, honey, oh, it's done. Oh, my God. It's they her. Do. Oh, my God. They actually do. The other problem that bothers me. Is, <laughs> okay, let me just. That transition was quick. <laughs> let me spill the tea about this, tea. this shit. Um. Both of Matt's siblings, both his brother and his sister, moved into his parents' three-bedroom house while their houses were being built in, in the same city of New Lexington. So for 15 months, his brother, who is a CPA and a CFO of a company, makes good, good money, decided they need to live with his mom and dad. Like, I'm like, Matt, why would your brother, with his two kids and wife, move into a three-bedroom house and want to live there? And then also, his sister did this. So the sister who wants her daughter to live with us has four girls. Four girls. That sounds and like a husband. disaster. And they moved into a three-bedroom house for a year while their house was built because they just can't Wait. find a house to rent or an apartment. So they lived in a three-bedroom house with Matt's parents. That and makes six no people, sense. Eight people lived in a three-bedroom house. There was like two baths. Two baths. Ew, that's a... That's four people. Oh God! And all the girls are like four and above. And like I'm five saying and above. that like people. I'm just saying. Like, no, I'm if just you saying. Need to, like, you need to. That's fine. Sure. But, but like if he's you can a CEO afford, and he's yeah. got all this stuff. Yeah. If you can afford, why are you imposing on your parents? I would never ask my parents to live with them. Is that not, that's interesting? Because I wouldn't either. I'd be like, now if I no. literally had no money to my name, I didn't have a job, I lost my, my job, and I did, then I'd be like, okay, I have to do this. Sure. I'm gonna humble myself. And I'm like, I'm oh, gonna ask. I but moved here on my own. But I would never. Yeah, you. You would never ask to be no, like. No, never. Um, can my why would uh, I daughter ask? Because they're not going to do it. So it's like, why would I? I'm I'll so figure done. it out. I'm like, so I just I told Matt. I said, you need to talk to them, and this needs to be from both of us, not just me. Right. Like, I'm so, tired of being the boogeyman. I'm tired of being the one who's like, no, exactly. no, 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 no. You need to make them realize they're crazy. They're the crazy ones. They don't even talk to us on normal. And you ask for my address, and then you're and gonna like psychotically probably look me up on Google Maps. Here's and see the right how close to, you are to the right way. The right way to do this, my sister. Needed somewhere to live for three months. And you said no to her. She literally started her text with, it's totally okay if it's a no, but I've been looking at apartments and I just wanted to see if I could stay with you instead. If not, no worries. I found an apartment that's perfect. So she said, it's totally okay if it's no. So when I was like, I don't, she said, I, she, I told she said, you. My sister said, I know it's a lot. Yeah. So I just wanted to check, but I know it's a lot. We love it's our totally siblings. Okay. My sibling, it's Anna, hard, Anna, though. Anna knew. And I was like, Anna knew I but would not be comfortable she knows with you. it. Yeah. But she Matt's be like sister panicking. knows nothing about us and wants her kid to live with us three days a week for a year. Every week for a year. But also has not visited and yet. And has never been to the house. And also... I see this girl that was going to live with us, this 17 or 18-year-old. I've seen her once a year for the past three, four years. And she they wanted her to live with us. I picture her as a fat lesbian. Kind, oh, kind of. Honestly, kind of looks and sounds like one. It sounds like she's like probably yeah. into like um, the animal shit at the fair. Like, um, what's it called? They are. Oh boy. But I'm just telling you, like, this is what I'm mad about. This took up my whole week of being like, am I being an asshole for this? Am I being crazy? Is this a lot or is it just nothing? And I should say yes. And then I finally talked to like friends like you. Yeah. I talked to Sabrine and I'm like, it's a no. Oh no, this is fucking crazy. No, it's crazy. It's one thing to like, it's one thing if she came around. Right. It's if one thing if close, you knew who if she we were was. Close, it's yeah. one thing if she like, like, if you asked me, if you had a kid, can my kid say, I'd be like, yeah, duh. Right. Obviously, because you know who I am. I'm like, that's I've fine. Been in your house, you've yeah, been in my we house. Have the we same know values, each other. It's like, like, I don't... like it's fine. I forgot. I no, know, you I just have. seen mine. Mm, you tr well. You did. We were in the hot tub naked. Oh, I never saw your wiener. I know because I hid it from you. Yeah, you I... haven't seen my wiener. No, I know you've seen mine like three or four times. Are you sure? And your I husband watched me get a blowjob in the hot tub, so I know he's seen mine. Well, no, but I thought you saw mine in the hot tub. No, you like turned around, walked in backwards, and you were like, everyone turn around. Oh, when I you thought... like got in. No, I showed you, honey. I showed you. You just, it's not. It's just unforgettable. Or <laughs> it's forgettable. No. Yeah, because no. I was like, remember, I said, well, you, I've seen you naked. And then I opened my yes, and you even told me about it when I was like, 
fuck it. This is me. Or like. No, you've not shown oh, me. Well, I, probably Sean. No. Probably other It'd people. It'd be you. But you. You're the only person. There's no way. Okay, well, that's fine. This tucked in turtle. No, I'm just surprised I haven't. No, you have. You absolutely have. You'll remember tomorrow when you're done with your rose. Oh, you were gone. Sundries? No. Oh, fuck. Sorry, this might be a part two. Like, we're going to have to do a part. Well, what time do you have to go now? Not yet. I got 10, 10 minutes. 15 more minutes. Okay. Um, I just really want to say something really quick. Um, Okay. I've had myself a month. I have a therapist, and I'm switching medications. So oh, the next few fuck, months might fuck, be a little fuck, fun. Fuck, 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 Now, the good news is, is that when I was on Cymbalta, I came out of the closet. I was like a oh, horny that's freak. Oh. Wait, you're going to be a horny freak. Well, Maybe I, I will see that I day. wanted to go out. I wanted to do things. Okay, now I like the sound of this. So I take it back. What I realized is that, so I got, okay, there's been a lot of breakdowns. It started with everything everywhere all at once with Michael, and he oh, didn't react, and I was upset good... about it. Because I was like, why aren't you and reacting? And Matt didn't react at all on Monday when we watched it. So I realized I'm that crying and you were crying. Crying. Our partners like are just sitting crying. there like, I guess I, yeah, I guess. It's because you're high. I'm like, no, it's because it's like really fucking good. I was good. completely sober and I was sobbing. Bawling. Because it's just, it's just very touching. It all connects. And then you're like, I am in this so like, situation. Literally nothing matters, but yeah. everything matters to me. If it matters to me, like you have a matters. whole universe that you have to save. It's just your life it's and you. no one else knows about it. That's a, yeah. That's your whole universe. You're like, you have to save the universe. No, it's just your life. So that started this whole yeah. like um, downward spiral into to the point where I was like, where my partner said to me, maybe you should really talk to somebody. And I said, you know what? You're probably fucking right. He said that to you? Yeah. Yikes. I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom. Like, and it's okay. Actually, I feel really good today. It's weird. Maybe it's the alcohol. <laughs> It can't be the weed or the alcohol. Uh, no, I feel great today. I didn't work, I really and I'm on weed and alcohol day. It's like, been a great no. day. Yeah, you're like at home. It's oh Saturday. Oh, my God, how sad. It's Saturday at home. Hi. Drunk. I spent like thousands of dollars at fucking Costco. Like, oh, no. I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day because it's If I did this every day, free. I would I'm just free be in today. debt and also I'm free cirrhotic. And have, and have lung cancer. Cirrhosa. Cirrhosa. <laughs> Cirrhosa. I love that on Cirrhosa. I have Cirrhosa. Lim um, Guardium Leviosa. So anyway, so I was like, fine, fuck it. And I said, fuck it, I'm spending the money. It was $300 to get on better help. But like, I can, so after we made fun of the commercial, I literally joined. Wow, um, one week after, too. One week after, I joined. And I had my first session. I think I'm gay. I was like, I think I'm psycho. And they're like, mm. So I got a, uh, now, my, my therapist reminds me of Roseanne Barr, kind of, like, kind of like Aunt Jackie. From Roseanne. Oh, I like her. She's fun. No she's nonsense. Hip. She's cool. No nonsense. But she also like makes a lot of chili and like watches reruns of bad shows and has like a couch that's outdated and yep. lives in Grove City. This which I don't think she does, but better, better help. help finds a so, therapist and, that can't get real jobs. Well, what's really and sad just though is she's she's actually a social worker, which is even that's it's sad. like it's sad because it's like wow, you're like you can't even sucks, do that. Right? Yeah. So this is her second job. Anyway, so I meet with my therapist and I start unloading sort of. And I'm like, um, I was the like, first well, first visit is always a vomit. Well, it's it is. Like, I think, and then my dad and then my mom. Right. And it's then like, I what's going on? I'm like, well, how do I even like explain to you what's going on? Because like literally everything's going on, but nothing's going on. Everything all at once. Like, I don't know. So my childhood was like fucked up. My dad like makes me upset. I hate my boss. Like I want to be a better partner, but I suck. I'm not sexually like attracted to anything unless it's freak nasty. Like what's going oh. on? Oh no, it's 100. So that was a fun first visit. Um, so I'm in therapy and I'm also changing meds. Is really what I wanted to say out loud. Wow. I'm admitting something. Slow clap. Thank you. No, but like real, but like I don't want to clap fast because I'm tired. I'm tired too. Wow. So yeah, I just want to say that. Like, so you, it, when are you changing meds? When you see? When do you see Tuesday. Randy? Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> did you say that on purpose? No, I did not. That's it's what Matt accident. says. No, I literally said that. You were like Tuesday. No, that was me fucked up. <laughs> My grandma. No, and that Matt was not says, Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I literally said that like fucked up. <laughs> like I missed the syllable because I'm my mouth didn't work. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like um. I I'll feel like I'm floating away. Mrs. Doubtfire. Tuesday. Mrs. Tuesday. So you're going to <laughs> therapy on Tuesdays. Uh, next week is Saturday though. I'm going on Saturday, but she's, oh, she on goes Saturday. So I told her all this stuff, and she goes. Mm -hmm. 
She goes, okay, well, I'm going to um, work on this. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she literally looked like, down at her, her pad and she's like, fuck She's me. like, I have to go to therapy for you because you caused me so much stress. Isn't that the craziest thing is that therapists go to therapy? I know. They're fucking and psycho. You're like, I actually think therapists are actually psychopaths. No, most of them are. I've known some. No, I've like, literally known. They're to- like, I'm a therapist. And you're like, And oh. then they talk to me and I'm like, wait, you help other people? But it's so weird because all she does is sit there and go. So how does that make you feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. $300 later. You know, Bobby. She's like, has my name written here. She's like, you know, Bobby. Bobby. Um, that life is like <sighs> precious. Bo- and box of chocolates. And, like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, she goes, does that help? I'm like, she actually asked me that. That actually turned me off a little she bit. She asked you if it helped. She goes, that, does that make sense? that help? I'm like, yeah. No. And you're thinking in your head like I'm thinking I'm I haven't even told you about the, my wrist. I, I haven't even told you about the child. I haven't told you about the sexual abuse. So like, honey, we're not even there. There was a time where I was in a truck. I was in a truck. I know what my problem is. I think I told you this. So I know what my problem is. So like, point blank. Period. This is why you feel guilty all the time. I told you this, right? About, about the truck? Yes. No. Oh no, you're you just. Oh no, no you're you just, just quivered. I'm gonna get a replay of that. You. Go. Um. So I told you about how like we played the wiener game with friends. Okay, and we got caught, and, we, and I got in trouble. I did this too. Okay. okay, but I told you about this, right? Oh no! Oh, I'm. So, I don't like this. Oh. I have the uh-oh feeling. I, I have do the too. Uh-oh feeling. In. Anyway, we played the winner game with friends. Yes, I did tell you this, and then I was the youngest one. So there was a group of friends. I was the youngest, like of the group of friends. So I was in second. I was in first grade. They were like in fourth, fifth grade. Jesus. Third, fourth, and fifth grade. It was like oh, a wide range. I was like, okay. They're like entering puberty in your Correct. Like first grade. So there was like an incident where we used to play the wiener game. I actually like didn't play it a lot. I was like nervous about it. I was like, oh, I don't want to see your wiener, blah, blah, blah. Regardless, blah, 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 blah. Well, one day. Now, mind you, I'm like six years old, seven years old. Like you're first grade. So my mom walked in and busted the whole thing. So the whole operation got canceled. Oh, my God. So these kids, these guys that were older than me, fifth grade, fourth grade, all didn't really get punished really probably because they got talked to maybe because so at, long story short i was grinding for two weeks i was yelled uh, at and how is it your fault correct and so this is where this is where i finally realized like wait a second you were abandoned. i was grounded, were grounded for you. in first grade because i was involved in something that i literally had no idea what it was like because i'm in first fucking grade and i was grounded for two weeks and basically shamed and thinking that like anything sexual is bad, obviously. But also like that literally is why I walk on eggshells every day of my life. Right there. Because I don't ever want to be and I because I'm not, again. So I'm not guilty. I felt guilty my whole life and I finally realized like it's not my fault. Oh, oh my god. No, I I thought I told No, you because that. I got in trouble too. I was like with these friends. My parents had friends and then they had daughters, three daughters. Right. And so, like, I was hanging out with them, and we were probably, like, 9 or 10. But, like, we were alone one time because the parents went out to eat, and I stayed at their house. And we, like, played a game where we were, like, Doctor. you have to, if you lose this card round, you have to take one piece of clothing off, and you have to go in. The, and then we got to a point where, like, we were almost naked. Naked, was, like, right. You have to get in the closet and then show us your privates. And kiss for five seconds. You're like, oh. Yeah, you have to show us your privates or kiss. And literally, like, I remember, like, just getting in the closet and being like, ah, my dick. And then them being like, this is my pussy. And then yeah. then the two girls who were like, it's just my told. Age, they got they felt so guilty. Like three days later they told their parents. And then my mom like walks in the room at night, like a Do week you later, know? and was like, I need to talk to you about something. And I felt I never felt more guilty about something that was literally now natural. Back, so innocent. Are like, you gonna we, drink that? No, I okay. can't. I can't. I'll take it's it. so good Thank though. You, though. It's so good. I'll I just like it. if I'm driving, like I'm, right. That's, that's why I thought about it. Third drink. In I saw hour. you were like, in an hour and a half. I'm like, oh, I saw you drink. speed up though. And I was like, when you got here, you're like, eh, before the, and I was like, I oh know, wait, and then I just remember, oops, you drove. Yeah. So but it's literally fine. like, you get that feeling of you're like, what? You get a feeling of you're like, what did I do wrong? And then you, now I look back, I'm like, nothing. Like literally, nothing. Little kids played a game where we were like, what are your privates look and like? And I was the youngest. Well, no, we all got naked and like rolled around. Like it was yeah. like a weird thing, but nobody knew what sex was or anything. Then. No. And then, and so like, it's like, but I for sure didn't know. You're young. But you're even younger, grounded. but you're grounded. And the other boys think you're grounded. I was the only one that got grounded. And I remember that. I remember thinking like, what did I do? Even Correct. though he's younger though than I'm everyone. Seven, and, and everybody else seven. is 11. Like it's your fault. Yep. 
So that's, I mean, so back but to that therapy. Shit, and that's that, and exactly. And honestly, the problem is we only remember that story. Right. But I can't tell you how many times I was told I'm the oldest because I was the oldest of four kids. So was You're I, the oldest. You're the, You're you the oldest. You should know better. And I'm like, <gasps> oh. You're the oldest. You're the oldest. You should know better. You don't act like that because you're the oldest. I'm like, I don't well, they're allowed to do that because you're the oldest, and you should. I'm you like, you should be telling them what to. I'm like, I'm sorry that they're oh being little God, bitches. Oh my God, is that our problem? We're the oldest. I didn't realize but you it's were our the, fault. Are you the oldest? A four, yeah. See, I didn't know you're the oldest. That's our problem. That's it. Literally, we have a complex where we have to be the representative. We have to be the best example. We have to be all of these things for well, these really, younger it's more people. More damaging than. And then we get in trouble if anything happens. There's like, it's our fault because I'm. We're the oldest. I remember being like. For playing a game that's too rough, for like, right. if, if my it's sibling got hurt when we were out they riding be, bikes, it was, it was my fault. fault. You weren't watching them. Oh, and if a, if one of my siblings came home crying and it was like the neighbor down the street was mean to them, they're like, well, why did you let them be mean to them? And I'm like, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Oh, my God. And my mom always told the story of how she protected her younger brother. And I don't beat, give a fuck about the 60s. Beat up the neighborhood bully. She punched <sighs> the neighbor bully in the face because she the bully was being mean to my uncle. Who was younger than my mom, and she's like, "My grandpa, your grandpa, always told me to protect our my siblings." And I was like, oh, "Okay, well, do you want me to punch people?" Like, I couldn't tell what she meant by the Bradley, story. What do you mean? I would listen and be like, huh? "So am I supposed to punch people at school if they're being mean to my cousin, my sister, or my brother? I'm supposed to punch people?" Literally, I was like, "I don't understand what to do with this story as a kid," and I still look back. I'm like, "That was wild. weird," but that's what they were told. They told mom. My mom was like, "If anyone's." Hurting your siblings, you stand up for them. I'm like, Where? okay, I will, but in what way? Because you're telling me a punching story. Right, like, do you want me to, like... Like, do you want me to I attack? feel like this is millennials. This is our problem as millennials, is that we're going through a crisis now where we're, like... I'm segueing to that because yeah. the way we were raised was, especially for the oldest one in their family, it's like, you need to be the protector. You need to know yep. better. You should know this before you even know anything. And it's like, wait a second. I don't <laughs> even know what sex is, and you're basically saying I yeah. cause a sex ring... That's what I feel like. That's yeah. how I feel in my head. I'm like, you caused you this. grounded me for you two weeks, this. and it's my fault because other boys wanted because to... there was older people. Everyone else was older, and you want to blame me. So it goes back to the truck. It goes back to that. so like anyway. Yep. My therapy has started, and good. I'm working through it. And honestly, I don't. I'm it's not so really good. ashamed of it. Actually, like I really should write a book. Why a year and a half ago I was in therapy. I went to five sessions. I think that's what happened. You went on a trip. Remember how I went? And... I went to I went to a new drug. I did I'm therapy on my own. Mm -hmm. Then, then I did couples group. therapy. I'm, I'm doing great. You have to do group therapy. My my opening statement was... It was so good. I want my opening statement, though. We yeah. restarted. We literally reset. Matt will tell you, too. I agree. I think you guys are doing We started from now. the beginning, and they were like, well, why are you even Why are you even together? Right. Literally answer that first. And I was like, oh, shit. I think... I don't know why. I literally I, said, I don't no. remember. I was like, I don't it's remember. It's hard. The folks... Because it's been six years and you're like, I don't remember. I just love when people are like in four months. Like, how do you ever oh, like? No, I'm like, happy honey, eight months. I'm like, girl, happy one year. I'm year. like, literally like, wait, wait till it's, like, it's seven tough. years. Like being in a relationship is fucking tough. But you have to do these things. Every, these this work. Right. Every you do have to do this work every day. I agree. And then when you let it fall behind, and then it's like months, and then it's a year, and then COVID happens. That's what happened to us. COVID I was fucked like, a lot of things. I was like, oh, we really. I told Matt. I said, you're a roommate. You feel like a roommate because we just have been living together. And it's just like, we oh, don't hey, talk. bye. We don't hang out yeah. because there's nothing to do. It's COVID. I mean, literally, I said, you're a roommate. And then we went to therapy, worked through it. It helps. So you should do that. But too. you also, yeah. And, and I also switched medicine. And you also had a, <laughs> and I went individual we both therapy. Did. We both switched everything. My therapist, the first thing I said was, I want to be better. I said, I'm here because I think I, I, I want to be a better partner. Like, I really do is what I said. Because yeah. I feel like there's a lot of things happening in my life that are like, or make me a bad partner, which is fine. And you are. And I am. From what I've heard. Yeah. Oh. You've been complained about. By Michael? Well. Well, who else would it be? I mean, by your other partner? My other partners. I'm like, mm. Um. So I was like, that's why I started. And she, but her first comment was, well, what is he doing to help the relationship? So we needed to, like, I was like, I'm going to bring you to my therapy at one point. I'm really excited about therapy. I think I'm, it's I'm really so, excited about no, it's good. Anson Balto. It's like, always bye. good. You guys are not. If, you, you if it know. makes you start wanting to, like, do things and go out, I cannot wait. <laughs> Oh, honey, I'll be like, it'll You're be, gonna be like, it's a Thursday. I used to go sure, on Wednesdays, let's go somewhere. Wednesday bear night at Exile. I would drive from Westerville. Aww. I mean, yeah. like I'm down to do that again. Now, I did I'm quit like, darts because it was too much. But like, I'm waiting. Oh, you quit darts? I am not playing this season or session. It's you slept with too many of them. Oh, oh, oh. The one. One. <laughs> it's kind of fun. 
Wow, we really got a lot off our chest, including I think, half the people. This didn't episode hear. is literally. It's gonna be part twos. To we, to, we missed. To uh, we, that's the first week we've missed ever. Well, we can do two parts for a week apart, or then we'll, we're back on track. Well, sort of. We can we'll do our see. therapy and the... we'll see because a lot of that was like a personal like therapy. So I'll see what like, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, if we can go right. to two hours, right. like we'll be fine. But like if no, not, you're right. This will be an hour up. It's gonna be an fine. hour. Yeah, like literally. Um, so Ow! do you have any sundries really quick before we go? Like anything you want to talk about? Well, let me make sure I I need to make sure I covered everything though because I do have a sundry. You got drunk. Here's a sundry. This is one of my drunk thoughts while I'm like wandering on the streets. Of... So like I have high thoughts. He has drunk thoughts. So he's like wandering down the street. I'm in Quebec City. Quebec. Everything is from the 1600s. 1600s. You know, it's like French, stone, it cobblestone. French. We're eating dinner on a little like cobblestone patio, and I'm like, <sighs> I'm realizing there's candles on the table, and I'm like, oh, okay. I just turned to Matt. And I was like, how did people come up with candles? Think about it. Why would you ever put whatever the hell a candle is together and stick a piece of string or something in the middle of it and then light it? Holy fuck. Oh, it's beeswax or whatever. But you're like, oh, what did you do in the 1800s? Light a candle. But where did a candle come from? Like literally like how many thousands of years ago? And how did you get a a, a string to not burn out? To not burn out. Like how did you figure out that? Stay burning. I'm just like, I don't know what candles are. I realized I was like, I literally is like the biggest. I'm sorry. I went on a mind trip. I was like, how do people because there's a lot of things that you're like, well, people stumbled upon them. Like someone was like, oh, this thing is rolling on the ground. Like, oh, that (laughs) shape rolls. Let's make a wheel. There's a lot of things where you're like, well, I can see why people thought of that. A well, candle? I'm sure like, What's need, a candle? Well, I think what I said was like, we know how to make fire. We know fire makes light. Yeah. How do we make light last longer than... Probably. So they're like, okay, but, but we then, do... Then it's like, what do you dip it in the But the, the shape wax? of a candle is so weird. You're like, why is wax a good thing well, to Well, let's burn? take your cock, Johnny, and let's mold a you're candle. Right. And the hole is where the wick goes. Actually, Johnny, who came up with a wick? What's a wick made of? Well, a wick... That's the other thing. I think the wicks in the day probably weren't... I don't know. It's really fucking weird. I, you're freaking me out. What's a candle? But were candles around like in medieval or did yes, oil they were. lantern? Well, they both, I think. Well, I mean, you watch Beauty and the Beast, like there's candles. <laughs> <laughs> there is, and they're, dead. they're in Quebec City. In Quebec City, there were candles. Um, there were. I have a sundry. Okay. Quick and easy. Um, if you eat Pop Tarts for breakfast, and you see on the package it's like 290 calories, I didn't think 340 is the total. I don't is know. That what it is that per tart or per package? Per package. Okay, three, four. I only ever ate one Pop Tart, and I think that's why we're. Here. I think that's why with the, that's we're, why we're the here. way we are. I um, think that's why I'm that's this why we're way here. and you're this way because I only ever ate one Pop Tart. Wait, out of the packet, and then put that Fuck packet you. back in. Fuck you. My mom said that was the you normal. You are that guy. I would wrap one in a that's paper what towel. Poor people tell their kids. Take the paper towel out to the bus stop and eat it at the. Yeah. Wow, that's what poor people do. Um, most poor rich, people. Most rich people have two tarts. Um. <laughs> But <laughs> two tarts. Can, can I please just say, <laughs> yeah, that oh fuck, I have a lot going on. Um, Pop tarts are eighteen points on Weight Watchers. Eighteen <laughs> fuck! fucking points for the Shut two. Shut up! I only got two. sixteen a day. Right. So I two is eighteen points. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I can eat a grilled chicken sandwich, a three and three quarter cups of popcorn, a chili and cheese baked potato from Wendy's, all the same amount of points as two fucking Pop-Tart pastries. So if you're eating Pop-Tarts for breakfast and you're wondering why you're not losing weight, that is why. Um, and if you're one of those kids who used to eat two Pop-Tarts and you're dealing with Weight Watchers now, that's why. I'm also going to go on Zempic. I want to tell you that, Oh, too. I want... Th- you are? Yeah. I'm going to ask my doctor. Well, I'm telling Randy, I'm going to go, I want to get some Balta and I want a Zempic. Oh, and I'm going to... And if he says no... I'm going to fucking hate you if you lose 30 pounds just like but that. But you can't eat. What? So... What the the thing is though it stalls your eating like you you can't eat certain foods because it makes you sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, so like if you eat too much pizza, like you'll throw up. It makes you sick, and there's nothing you can do because it's a shot. So like you're already in it. Like you can't like throw up your pill. Like it's in your blood. Um, I'm doing that. So I'm doing therapy. I'm losing weight. I'm on Cymbalta. I'm drunk. I'm so high. basically, you're gonna have a new best friend very soon. Great. No, I'm left in the dust, honey. You're not being left in the dust. Just yeah. you, you'll be the fat friend though. You're gonna be a new. Oh. <laughs> you think after I, all these years, I can just be fat? Well, I yeah, you can. I can too. Oh my god, I'm so fat. <gasps> I, so, I you feel should, like time is. I'm weird. walking around like my large shirts like, aren't fitting anymore. And I'm like, versus oh, now. Fuck. Like, let's just talk about that. Like, uh, we're like. <sighs> 
We're fat. We were so skinny. So skinny. I was a fucking twig. I was wearing small to medium shirts. I'm wearing large to extra large now. I'd ask you to have Literally. Like, you're like, what size are you? Well, I'm like, I get the 3XLT now. Um, on Canva, or on whatever this is called, because it, it they shrank. I gotta go. I like, okay. Well, anyway, thank you for Anyways. listening. I'm sorry we missed the week, but obviously it's worth obviously it. Obviously, we had a lot you to catch up idiots. on. Um, Fuck yeah. Follow us and thanks. Bye, fucking whores. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, 